following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Oh, look who oh, we have. It's a beautiful day. Look at our man, Jim from Minneapolis. We going to take him by storm? Taking it by storm, baby. <laughs> I love that. That's a great saying, man. <laughs> hey, what's happening, brother? Good morning, gentlemen. How you guys doing today? Good, man. Yourself? Oh, man. It's been the most incredible couple of days since when I called in on Friday. Litecoin busted out of that consolidation on the two-hour chart. Okay. And it just never looked back. It did a 100-point ABC up, and now it's very extended the way I look at it. But yeah. holy commo I mean, it went up to $420 last night. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go 10 hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's a TGIF. Let's make it a great one, folks. Yesterday's gone. Tomorrow's not here. What are you doing right now? Look at wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 41, NASDAQ up 10, S&P's up 3.5, gold contract flat, 1302.80, silver down 3 cents, $16.78 an ounce. Light sweet crude also flat, $65.64 a barrel. Notes and bonds, 119.19, 10 year note, 30 year bond, 143.06. King dollar, King dollar up 169 ticks, trade 93. 545. The euro is trading 117.68 to 1 US dollar. Yen is at 109.47 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Why not what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Let's go over to the SPY first. Bottom line, you're going to finish at highs for the week. SPY, you know, bottom line is off its high. The high in the SPY Goes back to the 26th of January. That high is out there at 286. We're at 277 right now. We pick, take this, we put this on a weekly basis. And what you're going to see up here, bottom line is that you're right next to the swing point from the 16th, which is 280. That's saying, hey, guess what? Game to get hit at 280 is there. We're at 277, 850 right now. Different ball game in the NDX 100. What we have with the NDX 100, the three Qs, we take a look at the three Qs. Three Qs look like they're going to fail on price, fail on volume on a weekly basis. Uh, what we would need is this. You need to close over $175.21 inside the Qs. Right now, you're at $174.44. Uh, we've done thus far in a weekly $135 million. It was going into $193 million. The composite, that's your NDX. We go take a look at the composite. Composite, same type of setup, what we have with the composite. Composite hit all-time highs this week. We were taking out the March highs. Uh, that being said, let's put this back on a weekly and see where we stand. Composite right now, we're at 76.43. Uh, it's cool. Okay, so the composite is over that number. So 76.37 is the number. Right now, you're at 76.43. You close where you close. That's saying the composite can go higher. Small caps. We go take a look at the small caps. The IWM we use for the small caps right now. Bottom line, that's a closing at all time highs. We're at 166.43. Uh, good move. No juice under the move, but bottom line is that you got the move. Gold contract. What do we have with gold? Gold contract, folks, still going sideways out here. No bids inside that contract. Uh, we did get down to 1296. Rejected it. You're at 1303. Bottom line, still trying to get up into its higher range. The higher range inside gold starts at 1315. Uh, each and every time we get up to even the 1307, 1308 number, they sell it down. Haven't, they haven't been able to get it into the swing lows, but the bottom line, they are selling it down. Silver, different animal. Now, silver had a, a really nice week out here. Uh, silver contract trading at $16.78. 
And what you're going to see with silver, just a different animal altogether. Uh, we did 70,000 contracts out here today. Uh, yesterday, we did 124,000. Uh, we did 116,000 on Wednesday. Uh, bottom line, silver is building cars to run after these swing points of 1742, which is April 19th, as well as uh, 1787. If we go over to the SLV and we take a look at the SLV, which, of course, trades uh, the ETF. There we go. Sorry about that. We did the SLV. Uh, SLV out here, $15.77. Uh, bottom line, SLV is a decent setup. Uh, that little baby also went topside, had volume on the daily, had volume on the weekly. Uh, we did a big expansion last week. It did 26 million. The prior week, it did 29 million. We're pushing higher this week with 31 million. Notes and bonds. Okay, well, here, let's go to oil first. So, Oil just refuses to die also, folks. The bottom line is that oil looks like it continues to want higher price. You're laying out here at uh, the 65, 65 level. What we had with oil this particular week, uh, this little baby traded from, a, uh, from the, the lows of 64.22 up until uh, today, 66.24. And we'll see whether it can get back inside uh, the higher range where it basically broke down from. Uh, what we have with oil, you had a major breakdown on the 25th. That's when we went from $70.80 down to 67 42 fast, furious, all of the above. Uh, so uh, it's, I suspect we're going to test that number one, which is the 67.55 area. Notes and bonds still have strength. This is pretty amazing. There's no two ways about it. Now, what we're going to, we're coming into next week. We get the Fed meeting next week. The Fed. It's almost 100% probability in the Fed fund futures rate that they're going to go up 25 basis points. That being said, this note and bond market will not back off. You, if we take a look at the 10-year note, what we have with the 10-year note out here is this. 10-year note is trading 119.20. Anything above the 114 area, that was the huge strength two weeks ago Tuesday. This thing wants higher price, big time, too. We're going to take a look at the TLT, the 20-year bond fund ETF, same type of setup. Uh, had a huge day, of course, two weeks ago, Tuesday. That's when it went to 122. We backed down with light volume. You got another huge day yesterday. We take a look at this in the weekly, and with the weekly, you're going to see it works both ways, that you get a rejection of lower price. You had lighter volume as you were going into the last bar. Bottom line, they both want higher price. King dollar. What do we have with king dollar? King dollar is going to be intriguing watching this baby shake out. So, we had King Dollar yesterday come down dramatically light volume. Actually, let's go start. Uh, we're going to start on uh, uh, Tuesday, actually. Wednesday. Wednesday, uh, King Dollar gets to a price point of 93,385. You had decent volume on the way down. It broke into the 93,480, rejected it. Yesterday, anemic volume. Went higher today, guess what? You get anemic volume. This very well looks like it's building a small ABC structure on the way down. It looks like next week we're going to try to break into this lower level once again. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Hi, folks. Tom O'Brien. At a Market Insights, the now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFNN and you'll find Market Insights under Trading Newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks!
In quiet markets, investors search for new trading opportunities. We'd like to introduce you to a new product that provides opportunities even in flat markets. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a new and innovative Chicago-based exchange registered with the Commodity Futures Trading Commission. And unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their trading platform. Nadex never charges a fee to use their platform, which even includes real-time charts and full custom capability. Nadex's unique short-term binary options allow traders and investors to capitalize on strategies even when the underlying markets are quiet. Nadex's innovation has allowed them to come up with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Until recently, it was almost impossible for the average investor to hedge against currency risk in Europe or Japan. For a bold trade on Europe or Japan that protects against moves in currency, trade HEGE or HEGJ, two times currency hedged leveraged ETFs from Direction Investments. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Tom, take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, folks. Let's go take a look at some of the high volume. Uh, let's take a look at some of the high volume stocks in this low volume market. Uh, you have uh, Micron Technology up a dollar, dollar and a half. Snap uh, is up 43 cents. You get Apple down a dollar 96. We have uh, Cisco Systems off nine cents. MGM is off 50. If we go over to Apple, uh, you know, you had the report this morning with uh, Apple that uh, their suppliers later in the year that looking to uh, get 20% less components. Guess what? Apple just shook it off like without even thinking about it. Sh Apple was down at 189. You're at 191. Bottom line, doesn't mean a thing to them. Uh, we go take a look at the uh, XAU, the HUI. Uh, XAU right now, folks, uh, trading at a price point. Wrong one. There we go. I'm going to find that index. Sorry about this, folks. One second. XAU. Come on, baby. There's that index. Okay. So XAU, $82.79. I'm going to put all these on weeklies. Not a bad setup. Not the end of the world. Not the beginning of the world. Uh, bottom line is that we've been in the same place. Uh, well, you can make a point that we've been in the same place since uh, June of 2017, a whole year, actually. Uh, we'll see whether I can get any juice to get up into these uh, higher levels. Uh, this is the, you know, it's it's over the downdraft that was in February. That's for sure. We had got down to 76. Uh, you build, you're going sideways. Volume is not building up. That's what I would like to see. I'd like to see that volume actually building up. And what we actually have is that you still continue with sideways movements uh, in that market. We go take a look at the Gold Bugs Index. Put that on a weekly basis. We're at 178.82. Now, what's intriguing is that the Gold Bugs Index is actually weaker uh, than the XAU, but this is uh, uh, technically on a weekly basis. It's set up a little bit better. Uh, it's rejected lower price down there at the 176. You're going to close uh, near the top of its range this week. So we'll see whether that baby can get any juice going. Amazon, the FANG stocks. Let's just go through these FANG stocks for a bit. Uh, these babies, you know, have been basically going sideways after a monster move higher. 
Amazon, really going to close at highs. You're at $16.83. You're down $5, but that might as well be at highs. We take a look at Google. Google out here, 11.23. That's re now Google's rejected lower price today. It's going to have lighter volume. That wants higher price. Facebook. We take a look at Facebook here. Yeah, this is like you talk about Teflon, man. Facebook is definitely Teflon. Doesn't matter how many bad stories they come out. Uh, face Facebook. Yeah, you you the. Let's see, we hit a high of 195 flat out. It's going into 195.32. Bottom line, laying at those highs in a big way. Netflix, NFLX. Netflix out here, also at all time highs at 360. Uh, Microsoft, Microsoft, $101. That is an all time high. Pretty amazing. Big, big time. No two ways about that. We take a look at that. If you just go to the other side of uh, Amazon, uh, which still can't uh, catch a bid out here, is going to be Walmart. What What is intriguing is that not just Walmart. I'll bring up a couple of these other retailers. Walmart wants lower price. You know, Walmart's down from a price point of $109. You're at $84. Uh, the way Walmart is trading out here, it looks to me like, you know, Walmart's building cars to get into like $79. Bucks. That's where it broke topside. October of 2013. It's just kind of laid out that way. Um, what we did get out here this week, uh, and we have got for you know a while now, uh, the retailers that actually uh, got to stay alive. Uh, guess what? They had some uh, blowout, uh, not blowout numbers as much as uh, they didn't uh, go down any further. And like if we look at uh, Five Below, Five Below came out with their numbers. That was a $79 stock. On Wednesday, you're at $100.58. Uh, you go, uh, now that's that's certainly not a Tiffany's of the world, but if we do go to a couple of these um, high-end uh, stocks also, what you're going to see, uh, these co these companies that stayed alive, guess what? They're, they're, they're moving higher. Tiffany's had come out with the numbers. They closed at 101 the day before the numbers. They're trading 132 right now. Uh, Macy's. Uh, Macy's, uh, that has gone in three months from $22 to $39. So you can see that uh, there's no doubt. Uh, now, these are, these are Macy's in particular is off some big highs. There's no two ways about that. Um, Macy's went straight down. $73 it was in uh, July, well, two, three years ago, July of 2015. Gets down to a price point of $17. Imagine that. $17 uh, in November of 2017. Takes off top side and has some juice underneath it. That's that's the real bottom line. Uh, so these retailers that uh, have made it through bottom line is that uh, it's not bad. Let's go actually take a look at uh, well actually let's go to Nostrum, uh, J W N. Take a look at Nostrum, uh, J W N. Nost Nostrum's still in a consolidation. Yeah, not bad, though. Actually, you know, uh, and Nostrum looks like it's going to go after the swing point of 54 bucks. 10 million shares, and you build, you're pushing in with 10 million. Uh, Nostrum looks like it also wants higher price. So pretty pretty wild when you take a look at all of them. Lamb Research, LRCX. Uh, what we did have yesterday, Lamb came down. That was fast, furious, all of the above. Uh, what you do have inside that chip space is you get some divergence out there. Uh, Lamb down a buck eighty six today. Wednesday, well Monday was trading two hundred five. You're at one eighty six right now. Uh, Lamb does have that high volume low, spike low. That spike low wants to get tested. That spike low at one sixty seven. Uh, Nvidia, NVDA. We take a look at Nvidia. Um, bottom line, all time highs. You're you know you're at two. 6253 XLMX. We go to Xilinx. Yeah, Xilinx is off its highs. So that's uh, 69 bucks. You're off the high of 77. Put this on a weekly. Yeah, there's, there's more. There's more pressure for Xilinx downtown. Uh, the chip stocks, no doubt, folks, uh, are crucial. 
to uh, that NDX 100. Uh, and what we're going to have, as I said at the beginning of the program, uh, the NDX 100 looks like it is going to fail. Uh, the strength inside the NDX 100 today, Monster Beverage, that's up 5.3%. Vertex, Vertex Pharmaceuticals up 3.4%. Micron's up 2.7%. Uh, taken away from it, you get Skyworks, that's an Apple supplier, that's down 2.8%. Uh, Broadcom's are down 26 You get Xilinx down one8 And you get American Airlines down $0.72. Cents. If we go over to American, take a look at American. This is going to be all about uh, the price of diesel because diesel that's what runs the planes and um, yeah this baby wants uh, $40 and right now you're at 43.11 stay right there folks gonna come back with our man Mr. Dave White we are gonna be talking technology Dow Industrials up 46 Nasdaq up 9 S&P's up three and a half coming right back no matter what kind of trader you are, 2018 is a great time to try out a subscription to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. Whether you just plan on diversifying your portfolio with some exposure to gold and gold mining equities, or you're a gold bull that sees 2018 as the year of commodities, now is a great time to sign up for the Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his Gold Report every Monday morning before the market opens and covers a variety of topics including gold, silver, platinum, copper, the XAU and HUI, the dollar, bonds, South African Rand, as well as more than 20 of the most actively traded mining equities. Start your 2018 off with a bang and sign up for The Gold Report today. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. For all the details and to start your subscription right now, visit the front page of TFNN.com and you'll find The Gold Report under Investment Newsletters. Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. EverBank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, call 1-855-750-4051 to find out what they can do for you. That's 1-855-750-4051. Call them today. EverBank. Bank is a member FDIC and equal housing lender. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. So we have the Dow Industrials right now uh, up 52, Nasdaq's up 12, piece up four and a half. We got our man, Mr. Dave White. He is uh, getting up with us, uh, getting in with us, and I can't wait to talk to Dave today because the first one, one that he has uh, on the screen, I can see the screens, uh, is uh, 1984. Uh, you got to love it. Uh, there's no two ways about that. Um, to Dave White yet? I can, I can see all reason, they can't charts. connect me on the video. I got you. I, okay. Oh, cool. I, listen, man, I'll put the video up. I got this right in front of me. 19, uh, well, you have 1948. It was written, I guess, right? Right, and right. But it was on this day, 
So <laughs> kind really? of interesting when we look at all the the news about everybody being hacked and and uh, yeah and everybody listening to your uh, finding out that you're on your phone calls. I was getting all these uh, uh, calls uh, right after I talked to somebody, and I always okay. wondered why I was getting these robo calls right after I talked to somebody, just minutes after. And uh, there were a lot of articles out this week saying that they were actually recording the phone calls and looking for keywords in them, uh, at least on the Android system. So it answers a lot of questions on why they knew that I was near my phone. I always wondered what was going on on that. But uh, so, so the theory would be what that Android is listening, that they listen to our phone calls, but then do they sell that service? Yeah, they look for keywords and then sell that, just like your browsing history. Then they sell it with your phone number? Yeah. Well, they link it back to your email account or your Facebook account, right? I but see. But what they're doing wow. is listen to your conversation. Okay. They pick up keywords. And if you yeah. say something like, I'm going to dinner. Right. <laughs> then suddenly you start getting ads for all the restaurants Great around. Great genus pizza. Here we come. Yeah. Right. And theoretically, they're not keeping that stuff, but you never know. But the whole idea is that in 1948, this was the that uh, by 1984, it was a dystopian future and everybody was listening to everything that you did. And yeah. it never happened. Everybody just allowed it to happen. <laughs> but, uh, you know, you think about everything going on. Uh, it's just kind of I don't know, just kind of sad that we gave up so easily. Oh, I, I agree, man. The thing that's a mind blower, number one, is that it's there's going to be kids that never even realize that they have any rights whatsoever. I mean, that, that's that's the reality. Uh, we're probably already there. Um, and then the other side of that, I guess, you can imagine that if you're the wizard, um, and I'm, I'm sure that there's lots of wizards out there that really understand how all of this works and you have the controls. It's pretty intense, man, as you can push thought processes around the world, right? I mean, that's, that's the reality. You know? It is. Anyway, on this day in 1948, the, the book came out that professed the future and we let it happen. So what else wow. can you say about it? Uh, Microsoft bought GitHub. GitHub, yeah. And I've had a lot of people uh, email me, what is GitHub? So I figured that I told everybody I'd just answer it today and we'll, we'll talk cool. about it a little bit more because it is kind of a, a tough thing to really figure out what this whole thing is and why it's worth seven and a half billion dollars. You knew kind of what Skype was when Microsoft bought it. This one yes. is a lot tougher, but I'm gonna give a little bit of a, a, a kind of a different view on it than programming it. Uh, because programming is kind of like writing a book, right? You write each chapter, and they all have to kind of make sense. Yes. Uh, the difference in programming is you make one error and nothing works. So it's a little more, uh, writing a book is a little bit more forgiving. But GitHub is a way for many people to work on one project. And I'm going to just say that, let's say I decided to kind of write a book, a Sherlock Holmes book. Uh, and it's going to have like 10 chapters. Uh, I kind of write an outline, and then f maybe five other people go to two of those chapters, and they work on each one of those. Okay. I may have done the rough work on it and kind of got the program up and running, and it kind of works good, but it needs a lot of polish. A lot of things need to go on. If I was writing a book, and I maybe changed the name of the character, well, in all the other cha chapters that these other guys are working on, that name would have to change too. So if we're programming or writing a book, you're basically putting all this stuff together and having multiple people work on one thing. The way that GitHub does this, it seemed to work out, it seems kind of nutty, but it does work. You create a, uh, a master and then uh, everybody makes their changes. And yeah. there's a thing called a pull request and this basically says, okay, everybody now gets to vote on whether or not we actually put these changes in. And then they'll go, okay, here's the pull request. Everybody will discuss it in the boards on how it could work better if we did it this way or that way. Or maybe, you know, this guy is, you know, he's a, uh, a farmer. Maybe it'd be better off if he was a doctor. 
in this book that we have. Everybody talks about those changes, and then they go back in and they all merge them when everybody votes and, and is finished, uh, and branch back into a master. Now, along the way, maybe a few of the people that are working on this thing think that you've done it all wrong. So they branch off of that, and maybe yet there's another version of this program with okay. another game, and they're all... So off. it's a collaborative open source, basically programming masterminds, right? Right, but it allows multiple people to work on things together, and when they disagree, they can go their own way and start their own branch, okay. right? So it's nothing but splinter group after splinter group. Uh, now, if you had a corporation that was doing this, a lot of people in corporations do write their software using GitHub because each time you uh, make a commit change and a pull request, if that doesn't work out, it's pretty easy to f basically flip a switch and go back to the way it was working before. When, so, okay, so now let's picture you get a product that's finished. When the product's finished, is it open to everyone? It's still open software or did, does, does that change? Well, it can be. If you're a corporation, it probably isn't. But if it's a lot of the stuff that's on GitHub that started off as open source, yes, it's still open source. But here's what will happen. A lot of people will work on these projects, and they'll be kind of the, the vanguard programmers. And they'll get it all working, and it works pretty good. And then they'll hand it off to people to maintain. As things change, things yes. need to be fixed. They're kind of assigned, or they volunteer, actually, to maintain these different projects until no one wants to maintain it anymore and it's just abandoned so it is a whole kind of ecosystem uh, and way to put multiple people together in a way that no one in the world would think would ever work because it is kind of it, it is kind of like maybe there is one leader but everybody can you know uh, have a mutiny and they'll go their own way so it is kind of a, a weird kind of a collaboration but it does work very well uh, historically. So it's amazing. It just kinda, That's pretty it's cool. Just, it's just round and round and round of uh, having newer versions from older versions. Um, most everybody has to kind of agree down the way. So it, you get a consensus and then you come back out with a, yet another version of it. And, and, and people say, well, I want it to do this or that. And the whole thing starts all over again. Wow. So it's just hey, you know, I'm repeat. Yeah, I, you may may have may not heard, I'm not sure. I was talking with a teacher last night in Pinellas County. Mm -hmm. And in, Pine in Pinellas County next year, they're going to start teaching coding in kindergarten. That's kindergarten. Way Isn't that cool? So that all the cool. teachers, the reason this came up, all the teachers are at training right now in order to basically get these programs up to understand what they're going to teach. Isn't that wild, man? It is. Stay right there. Dave and I come right have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high-definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Eddie Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN.com. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12, 6, and 3 months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. 
Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFNN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step-by-step -step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. The Path of Least Resistance, David White's daily market letter, gives you trade recommendations based on David's proprietary power law vector indicator that put the odds of success overwhelmingly in your favor. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stop price for each stock and option trade. David combines his years of trading experience along with his background in technology and computing to offer his subscribers his take on the markets on a daily basis. Every trading day by 9.30, David publishes his morning issue of the Path of Least Resistance along with updates sent out throughout the week whenever there is new, actionable trading information. All new subscribers receive a 30-day, no-questions-asked money-back guarantee. To sign up for David White's daily trading newsletter right now, visit the front page of TFNN.com and you'll find the Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. Tom, take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Tom O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow right now is up 55. Nasdaq's up 13. S&Ps are up uh, 5. We got our man, Mr. Dave White, and we got him back on video. Yeah, I just wanted to bring up one last thing, and then we'll move on from GitHub. But I was kind of concerned that everybody would uh, rain all over Microsoft for buying it. Um, and one of the interesting things that did happen today was that the biggest consortium of people that are around Linux uh, basically put their papal blessing on Microsoft buying it today. So uh, at least some of that uh, uh, animosity toward Microsoft probably maybe a little overblown. I thought it would maybe even be bigger. But uh, and it it's, looks uh, like you know, it's it, all it, quieting Dave, down now. Sure, huh? and what Dave's talking about, folks, is that Microsoft used to be the big bad devil, and Linux came in, that was free software, and bought it. You know, it's interesting, Dave, and, and I totally understand what you're saying, but you know what? It's so long ago that it seems like Microsoft, you know, is not the big bad devil anymore. And to you me, what, my, you know what they, my, my perception anyway, do you know what I mean? You know what they did that placated them all? They agreed what? to name one of these things that they use, one of the programs. Yeah. Whatever, whatever the community wanted to name it. And now everybody's happy. I mean, I there you go. Something that something that doesn't really even matter, and right. suddenly everybody's happy. So yeah, it seemed to be much ado about nothing. But uh, it was interesting, and it's a seven and a half billion dollars yeah, and uh, seventeen million programmers. Amazon announces Fire TV Cube. Okay. Yep, they're Talks continuing. Speed. Continuing down the line, uh, this product's going to be available, I think, the 26th. You can order it for a discounted price today if you're interested in this stuff. Um, eight microphones, beamforming technology. It'll control all the devices in your house, and all you have to do is talk to it, uh, and it will oh. turn on your TV and turn the channel to what you want. And uh, Really? Yeah, yeah. It's. Uh, I think it's... Eh, oh, I think I've got it on the next slide here. Uh, Prime members can pre-order the Fire TV Cube June 7th and 8th at a special price of $89 and also be pre-ordered together with the recently announced Amazon Cloud Cam for $199. So, um, you know, if you're interested in a lot of that stuff, I don't like everybody listening to me, but I'm a little paranoid. But uh, for people that love this stuff, apparently the, heat, the hardware just keeps coming from Amazon. And the reviews of it so far, pretty good. Um, can you just far, take that slide? Can you do the slide before that again? I just want to see. Okay, so, okay, so it has eight microphones, beam forming technology. MSM's Fire Cube allows you to search, play, pause, fast forward, control your TV, soundbar, receive a cable. Man, the thing that sounds like it does everything. That's amazing. It, the, yeah, it is the big remote control for your television that you can just talk to it. Man, and that uh, in it's, itself could be worth it, except that they're spying on you. <laughs> <laughs> that's again, right? like I said, that's it. That's again. Uh, I unplug my uh, webcam and microphone every time I get off the air. But you yeah. know, you, that's me. I, a lot of people. Right? Just no, don't no. Care. Yeah. So and you know what? That's see that that's not paranoia either. Paranoia 
basically is when there is not a threat. <laughs> that that's real, right? That it is, is that's real. That's but real. It, 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 uh, it reviews are pretty good. And if you like this stuff, it seems to me, uh, I know that uh, some people are buying the Apple product, but I mean, it just for the stuff this stuff good does. It's very hard to see Apple uh, TV really be anywhere close to the technology that uh, Alexa has brought to the Amazon ecosystem out here. It seems yeah, to be they, pretty good. Yeah, they're definitely going to just ramp up that buy-in, no doubt. E3, yeah, let's take a look, E3. Electronic Entertainment Expo starts really on oh. Monday. We, we just, this is the game thing. We just ended the Computex uh, okay. deal in Taipei, uh, uh, Taiwan. That's the big computer manufacturer um, of boards and memory and hard drives and uh, everything that put you put together. Uh, and then yes. you go right into uh, what they call E3, which is Electronic Entertainment Expo. This is where okay. all the new games are going to be shown. Probably going to start seeing these, uh, I imagine, on cable news. You're going to see all the new games and the new features and uh, virtual. Uh, you know what? I'm going to have to take that back. I haven't heard anything about virtual this or virtual that. It's all about these games. In the years past, it's been nothing but headsets and uh, yeah, I know. interactive 3D. And I've read everything, and it just kind of hit me. You know what? <laughs> there is no virtual anything talked about at this show so far. Maybe there's more things coming out. But it, it seems they're going back to the bread and butter of these products. Yeah. That, you know, a lot of the stuff that uh, Electronic Arts and uh, Microsoft are doing the budgets are two or three hundred million dollars to make a game, and it's uh, returning a billion or two billion dollars. So the return on investment Amazing. pretty huge for these. And, and so, uh, so when you look at the virtual reality deal, I guess the creators just can't come up with something that's as dynamic and such easy to use as these game creators have. That's what it looks like, right? At this well, point, well, it, yeah. it, it's part of it. Uh, I think that a lot of the stuff that uh, Facebook came out with uh, when they bought the company. It now uh, it escapes me. Maybe yeah, no, I, know, I, I know what you mean, though, right? Bought yeah. the company. The thing was that you, you'd have a $500 computer and you bought $1,500 stuff to go with it. And the problem was that you needed really about a $1,500 computer to go with that $1,500 of headsets. It okay. just never was going to fly. Uh, they had all the, uh, bought all the uh, in place. Um, Exam uh, 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 demos and uh, Best Buys, it just never went anywhere because you needed so much money to just get to the first level, and yes. there wasn't what the, they call in technology the killer app. Uh, right. In, in uh, Apple II, they were all but ready to go out of business when the spreadsheet came along. In fact, if it wouldn't have come along, that would have been it. In 1986, Apple would have gone out of business if it wouldn't have been for desktop publishing software to come along. There's always yes. that kind of killer app that makes either the Mac or the Apple II or the PC uh, with uh, basically an office suite in 83 was really what made PCs take off. Uh, there just isn't that game that everybody has to have, and the stuff really hasn't come down in price. Uh, Intel has been doing a lot of work on making the chips for these things smaller, faster, and uh, use less heat. In fact, heat has been one of the biggest problems in making those things uh, fly at the speed they need and not burning the face of the people that put it on. Uh, I you see. Know, now, yeah. is, this ex is this expo in Vegas? Uh, no, I think it's in Los Angeles. It's uh, okay. normally in Los okay. Angeles. I didn't look. Uh, I it's, okay. it's, fairly close right. to, it's fairly close to Hollywood because a lot of right. these games are all using uh, people that write and uh, do voiceover I work see. and everything else. Wow. It is kind of a very Hollywoodish kind of project, but uh, most of the programming done in Sil uh, Silicon uh, Valley for these games, but most of the production work and graphics uh, in L.A. for most of it, but almost every year. I don't think it's been a year that it hadn't been in L.A., they have kind of a smaller one uh, in the fall where they just show these games that they're going to show this weekend ready to go for Christmas selling season. Because basically you got to have the thing ready to go uh, last day of October or first day of November if you're going to get the sales for Christmas.
Sure. Stay right there, folks. Dave and I are coming right back. And you can come over to our website. Dave's got a couple of great newsletters. He has his day, he has the um, path of least resistance and the tech insider. Go to newsletters, go to investment newsletters or trading newsletters. They both come with a 30 day money back guarantee. Dave and I are coming right back, folks. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24 7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up to the date, active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave Sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. Don't forget. You can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow Industrial is up 79, Nasdaq's up 14, S&Ps are up 6. Talking about our man, Mr. Dave White. So, hey, Dave, they, uh, it's Friday afternoon. They ramped the market up coming into the close, man. <laughs> yep, but uh, I don't. I'm not really fearful here in the fact that uh, not too many. I, I'm trying to remember the time, the amount of times that the QQQs tested a previous high on 50% of the previous volume, or even less than 50% of the previous volume. So maybe it goes higher, but I think the odds are pretty good out here. It's uh, you went up on light volume, you tested on light volume. Yeah, I got a lot of these stocks. Uh, I think uh, I think we got a, a pretty good chance for a fairly significant pullback out here. And, um, you know, I was talking to somebody yesterday about uh, when a lot of the times I talk to people, they've never been through it. You know, they joined the market in 2010 and it's been nothing but up. It's, <laughs> so, you know what? It's time has gone so fast. I, I know what you're saying, man. And it's like, you know, if you were a trend follower, this is the biggest trend outside of bonds since 1980, right? <laughs> yeah. That's... Uh, it, there's no doubt about that, man. I mean, it's been a one-way market. The last big um, 
down draft. Well, you, you get two down drafts. One was for one day. Feb you get February 6th. Then before that, you get August of 2015. We're, yep. we're in June of 2018, right? That's the reality. Yep. I just wanted to get to this before we leave the show. Yes. You can win a almost a $500 processor from Intel. They're celebrating their 40th anniversary, the 8086 architecture. If you want the uh, link to it, just uh, email me at path at tfnn.com. But uh, they're giving away 8,086 of these processors. So your chances really? of winning are, are a lot better than some people would ever think. Uh, just that, give me an email. Awesome. You got about four hours to get on it on it before the end of uh, uh, before it's uh, the, the entry is closed. So that's uh, enter a chance to win the eighth. That's uh, that's good info, man. It's five hundred okay. bucks, so it's well worth the uh, the entry. Spend the minute or two. Totally, anyway, uh, give me a a, uh, a email at uh, pathpfnn.com. We'll start, we'll do it. Thanks so much, Dave. Have a great one. Have a safe one. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about, whatever you focus on grows, and whatever you want in life, folks, visualize it like a nice big motion picture. Step into it, take ownership of it, and fly with it. Hope you have a great weekend, safe weekend. Look forward to speaking you know right back here. Taking something that's good for you, something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy to use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com.